Hello, beautiful collective of minds. How are you guys? This is Healing Hands. Guys, I hope everyone is doing well. When you are alive, when you wake up, you are doing well, regardless of what is going on. All right. I think the most important thing is life and health, right? Life first, health second. I know some would say, what's the point having life without health, right? But I guess when there is life, there is hope. Guys, I have four decks here. Okay, I think it's, is it four? No, it's three. I have three decks here. I don't know why I was made to, you know, put the, you know, three of them together. And Spirit made me sit down painstakingly, you know, like, arrange one on top of the other just to mix it up so we're not pulling two of the cards at the same time and now that we shuffled that's actually like you know we have two two here all right and hey guys another one so can you see okay all right let me move my camera just a little bit Okay. All right. I hope you all can still see. Okay. So anyway, guys, so we have perfection. So this is the energy of perfectionism or somebody who is looking for something to be perfect or somebody who likes for everything to be on point okay this is the rider is the energy of a message or somebody coming in with something that would clarify what you already know okay i'm picking up the energy of what you already know and suddenly there is um an a clarifier or something or somebody that will appear to clarify whatever it is that you think you know already okay um there's also the energy of something that has um, maybe ended for somebody. Maybe something that it looked like it wasn't moving because I'm, I'm being drawn to the clock. Like it's not moving. Or maybe, you know, like in the past, something did not really work out well. And it looked like something just did not work. You know, it crumbled and... Um, ended okay so there's a coffin here and it's the number nine and there's a number eight here there's a uh, also another nine here there's a one here okay there's the energy of mysticism okay there's the energy of mysticism so this is the energy of somebody who is going deep either connecting with somebody i'm also picking up somebody who's also um doing some spiritual practices usually at night or using moon energy moon magic or somebody who may have used the moon energy in the past or somebody you, you sometimes you may not even know that you are being influenced by the energy of the moon all right and one thing i found out is for every one of us we are either heavily being influenced by the sun or the moon all right um for whatever reason the yin yang thing is the sun and the moon right it's balancing some people are just strictly dark energy or negative energy and that not in a ne negative way but when i say that it just means like they have the qualities of the the yin qualities okay of maybe being nurturing being a little bit sensitive a little bit emotional and being cold and known for being being dark whereas the yang energy is the energy of the sun um brightness and light and vibrancy it's usually a fiery um energy i'm sure you guys know where i'm going with this right so the moon energy would symbolize something done at, at night a, you know um when people are sleeping um when all you don't want other people or they don't want other people to know that they're doing something so somebody obviously here um is practicing something here okay and trying to perfect whatever it is that they are practicing okay maybe practicing something they are thinking would bring something back into 
So maybe something that is already gone um, that will bring it back into their energy. All right. Uh, but this is an energy of somebody who's obviously persevered through something. Okay. Um, but now I'm getting the energy of messages coming in for someone. Because this is the birds. Also, the birds can signify whispers or people I'm hearing people talking about you in corners, in places where you don't even know. Um, where you've not even entered. Where you haven't been to. Your name being whispered somewhere. Wow. Okay, that is weird energy. So I'm hearing your name is being whispered even in places that you haven't even entered yet. Right? For some of you, I don't know whose message that is. Looks like it's some kind of random message. Okay. Well, all right. So let's stop in. Let's get the two people that you are dealing with. Let's see. The two energies. I'm getting a thrown a ton. And we ain't doing that. Okay. There's a number 30 and a number 38. Okay. So there is one energy that is in an opposing energy. And there's an energy here that is in a clarity energy. Okay. Um, one person is a, in an antagonistic energy. The other person is an energy of clarity. Okay. Either clarity about what I want or clarity about, you know, the effort that I need to put into something or clarity about, you know, the next steps for me or how to create my success or what to do next time when I'm in a relationship, what to do better. Or there's some kind of clarity that somebody here obviously has now, right? But there's somebody here or, or on this side who is in an opposing energy, all right? Um, okay, so let's see. There's the energy of abundance here for someone, okay? And there's the energy of awareness for someone. So I feel like this could be you or the person you're dealing with. Well, there's obviously something that has to do with money here, okay? Or it might be an abundant mindset that somebody might be in. Um, while somebody else, it might be the same person in, um, an awareness, I'm getting the energy of mysticism again, like somebody who's using law of attraction, who, who's trying to understand how to use law of attraction, somebody who's, uh, you know, trying to gain awareness about how to attract something into their energy, abundance or anything that they feel like is in an opposing energy. Somehow trying to like, you know, make things work. And you can't, there's nothing that says you cannot make it work, you know. Um, this is obviously somebody who's been in a, in a really um, sad place. Um, this is the sorrow energy. And um, this is the energy of laziness for somebody. Okay. And the energy of rebirth. So we picked up the energy earlier on of something ending. And it, now that I'm picking up a rebirth, just say somebody's prayers has been answered all right so like if i saw only the um card that indicated ending and i didn't see any rebirth or beginning or no a uh, fool's energy nothing that shows me a, you know right like a regeneration is happening i might be a little worried and you know try to pull a few cards just to pick up that energy but here there is a rebirth that is occurring in somebody's energy okay um all right, so let's tap into your money, career, see anything in that front. If there's any energy that we're picking up. Okay, I guess today is what, Friday? Weekend sale? Oh, wow. Okay, somebody going shopping? Is somebody having a, a yard sale or going to a sale or somebody is shopping online? Is that what you're doing this weekend, somebody? There's something here about cryptocurrency. Is somebody into cryptocurrency? Okay, it might be so. I don't know. This might be a random message. It could be for the same people that, you know, this reading was for. Or it could be a different energy. It could be any, any of the above. Okay? There's something about payday. Is it payday for somebody today? Somebody going shopping? I'm also picking up a gambling energy. Okay, somebody going to the casinos today. Um, is it payday? Somebody shopping? Somebody happy? Somebody smiling? Oh, wow. I'm also getting the energy of loan denied for somebody. Did somebody apply for a loan and, you know, they got denied their loan? Okay. That's crazy weird. Let's see. 
What other random? There's something about dolphin here. It talks about playfulness and cooperation. Is that what you need? Is that what you're doing? Just cooperating with somebody? Looks like maybe there's somebody that, you know, you're just, you know, working. Try, it might be at work, you know, for some of you. But you're just in an energy of cooperation. You just want to, like, work things out. There's a playful energy. Some of you are maybe, you know, hanging out this weekend. Maybe helping out with somebody moving sales. Somebody going shopping. You know, just helping out. Helping a friend, family. Could be anybody. Um, do you have anything planned this weekend? Is there something in the house? There's also something about birth and conception of a child. I think we picked up this energy the last time for somebody. Um, so this might be a lingering energy. Um, if not, this usually would indicate the home for me. Or even like family get together, family affair. It talks about, you know... Um, even maybe the start of a new business or an enterprise because we did pick up the energy of something ending and something starting, right? So it could be either or of that, okay? Let's see what else. Okay. Let's see what else, collective. All right, there's something here about the three of wands. And it talks about leadership and... Um, Moving forward and being initiate, you know, having initiative. And it talks about the three of ones to me usually is, is about, you know, making a decision, a firm decision, making a choice and just um, sticking with it, sticking with the plan. Returning home for somebody. Maybe some people are home visiting family, holding on to the past also. And there's something about unhappy with, um, I can't, I can't see what this is. Maybe somebody can read it. Unhappy with something over here. Okay. All right. So there's also the four of wands. And I can tell you I shuffled this thing. Um, but this talks about, let me see what it says here. Liberation, community, unity. And it talks about feeling unwelcomed if it's in the reverse. Or having family issues, animosity in the family. But it came up in the, I'm not even sure in the upright, I think. If it came in the reverse, I really don't do reverse. So like this is in the reverse, I'm going to turn it around. But well, this is the eight of cups. And it talks about apprenticeship, about dedication, achieving one's goals, not giving up. And I'm seeing gambling also, or somebody who's going to the casino. But there's the eight of coins. Eight of coins talks about somebody who's resilient. Um, putting in, yeah, for it's not a, it's not a, a, a card of winning. It is a card of you know investment though, right? And just waiting for the, the, maybe somebody who's even also spent, somebody who's spent or spent an amount of money and just waiting for a return and they haven't seen it yet. All right. There's something about the ace of wands here. It talks about breakthrough, inspiration, and new direction for somebody. It's all wands energy. So you have three of wands. You have the four of wands. And then you have the ace. So you have eight wands here okay and then you have eight coins all right but then you have seven of wands so seven add to this is 15 which breaks down to a six i think if i'm not mistaken but this is the seven of wands it talks about connection defiance standing your ground defending what you believe is right is yours um, some of you may be visiting family is what I'm also picking up. Uh, maybe family squabbles where somebody's needed, needed to stand their ground. Felt like they were backstabbed by a family. What? Okay. So it's a, a kind of, you know, surrendering or not surrendering or looking like somebody does not um, have the courage, the courage to do something or even... 
knowing when to fold. All right. All right, guys. For whoever this is, I hope this makes sense for somebody. Until next time, this is He Green Hands. Bye.